Mike Cardano with Roto Experts in the Fantasy Sports Network here with you on Tuesday, April 16th. And I'm back with selections for you in Daily Fantasy to help put the odds of winning matchups today in your favor. But first, we're nothing without performance here, so let's evaluate yesterday's picks. Now, Yadier Molina and Edwin Encarnacion both contributed nicely to the cause. Molina was 1 for 3 with 3 runs scored, and Encarnacion was 2 for 4 with an RBI and 2 runs scored. Then we got that Dumbo-looking dope Steven Strasburg, who stuck up the joint, giving up six earned runs and just four innings pitched. Now, as I was watching the game, I thought, that's it, my goose is cooked, I am done for the night. He was the highest priced pitcher on the evening, and I spent a large portion of my budget on him, and I figured all was lost. But don't underestimate the power of the West Coast games. Often, that's where your night is won or lost. At least, that big-eared dope was able to contribute with five strikeouts and four points on the night, and with strength elsewhere, that was just enough to pull out my night. Hopefully he didn't screw up yours and try to do better today. Now we've got you Darvish, Felix Hernandez, and Jose Fernandez all dealing tonight. And that's when I whip out Annabelle Sanchez, as I'm able to both save quite a bit of money and differentiate myself from the masses. Sanchez looks to keep the Cleveland Indians off balance today, continuing his recent success against the Tribe. He's gone 4-0 with a 2.13 ERA over his last six starts against Cleveland, and Jason Kipnis and Nick Swisher are combined 4 for 26 off him with 11 strikeouts, so I'm looking for that dominance to continue. He's just $7,800 on FanDuel and $9,800 on DraftKings, saving you thousands, literally, on the marquee names of the night. Jed Jerko has gotten off to a rough start in his sophomore season. After hitting 249 with 23 home runs as a rookie, he started off just 8 for 50, batting 160 with just one home run and eight RBI. Now he faces Jorge De La Rosa tonight, and while he only has seven career at bats against him, given the fact that he has a hit in six of them, including two doubles, is enough for me to take action. He's only $3,100 on FanDuel and just $4,000 on DraftKings, where he qualifies at both second and third, giving you great flexibility in structuring your lineup. That's where I'm looking to play him. Those of you picking my brain on a daily basis may have noticed that I've had both Daniel Murphy and Lucas Duda in my lineup the last two days. Now, while that's something that you're not likely to see on a daily basis, they've had very good matchups in Arizona, and they've come through. Now, they're both 4 for 9 over the past two days. Murphy has four runs scored, and Duda has two runs scored in an RBI. Lefties hit 285 against Brandon McCarthy, who they're facing tonight, which is a pretty big deal when you consider the average major leaguer hits just 253. So I'm going to roll them both out for a third night in a row. Now, you'll only be able to play these guys in early games as they have a 305 Eastern Standard Time start, and Murphy will qualify for you at both first base and second base on DraftKings. The first ever Fantasy Sports Network is here, and you can now take it with you wherever you go. The new Fantasy Sports Network mobile app is your season ticket to the latest fantasy news, information, and analysis. Get access to the live stream of television programming along with a suite of in-depth articles, on-demand videos, and podcasts. Fantasy Sports now goes wherever you go. The Fantasy Sports Network mobile app, available now on iTunes. Now, Minnesota is the spot to worry about weather tonight with some possible rain and snow. For more daily fantasy coverage on that and more, tune in to the Roto Experts in the Morning Show with Scott Engel and Adam Ronis from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time weekdays right here on the Fantasy Sports Network or on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio, Series 210 XM 87. And for you West Coast folks, we don't ask you to wake up at 3 a.m. We replay the show here on the network during your 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. time slot. And on weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio, we've got the first word on Daily Fantasy with coverage from Dr. Roto and Tony Sincata, along with Daily Fantasy industry heavyweights Drew Dinkmeyer and Mike Leone, and some of the most well-known Daily Fantasy players in the space. So go ahead and tune in to that. Now, good luck in your daily games, everyone, unless, of course, you find yourself matched up head-to-head -head or in a tournament against me. And in that case, I hope you get very distracted at work today trying to enter your lineups and mess up very badly. But remember, it's not personal, it's just fantasy.